In a quiet corner of Texas, a revolution is being forged not in steel, but in silicon. Something is happening that will fundamentally reshape our world. And it's a story that goes far beyond just cars and technology. It's not a rocket launch, and it's not a new electric vehicle rolling off the assembly line. It's a deal, a quiet multi-billion dollar handshake that represents one of the biggest, most audacious bets in the history of modern industry. For decades, the tech world has been obsessed with software, the brilliant code that powers our digital lives. But the new global battleground, the true source of power in the 21st century, is the hardware that makes it all possible. And Tesla just bet the house on it. This is the story of a $16.5 billion contract that isn't just about making computer chips. It's about building the brain for the future, and it's set to change AI forever. On the surface, the announcement was deceptively straightforward. Tesla, the world's most recognized electric vehicle and AI company, has entered into a massive multi-year contract with Samsung, the South Korean electronics and manufacturing titan. The price tag is a mind-bending $16.5 billion. The stated purpose is for Samsung to become the exclusive manufacturer of Tesla's next generation, custom-designed artificial intelligence chip, a piece of silicon codenamed AI6. The location for this grand undertaking is Samsung's brand new, state-of-the-art semiconductor foundry in Taylor, Texas, a sprawling complex rising from the American heartland. This agreement isn't a short-term order. It's a deep partnership extending all the way through the year 2033, locking in a decade of intimate collaboration. Now, a deal of this magnitude would be major news for any two companies. But when the players are Tesla and Samsung, and the product is the literal engine that will power the next generation of artificial intelligence, it ceases to be a simple business transaction. It becomes a tectonic shift, a strategic realignment with profound implications for technology, geopolitics, and the very timeline of our automated future. To truly grasp the gravity of this moment, you have to look past the dollar signs and understand Tesla's ultimate, audacious goal. This company is no longer just about making cars that happen to be electric. Tesla is on a relentless quest to become a fully vertically integrated AI powerhouse, a company that controls every critical layer of its technological stack, from the raw silicon to the end user experience. The new AI6 chip is the master key to unlocking this ambitious future, and it's specifically designed to be the computational heart of the three core pillars of Tesla's empire. First, and most obviously, is the ongoing quest for full self-driving. The FSD system is a data-hungry beast. It needs to process a constant torrent of information from its eight cameras, analyze the chaotic, unpredictable real world, and make life or death decisions in milliseconds. This is a process called inference at the edge, and it demands not just raw power, but extreme efficiency. A generic off-the-shelf chip can do the job, but a custom chip built from the ground up for this one specific task gives Tesla an almost insurmountable advantage in performance and energy consumption. Second, there is Optimus, the humanoid robot. For a bipedal robot to navigate a human world, to walk, to identify objects, to interact safely, it requires a brain that can process a staggering amount of visual and sensory data in real time, far more than a car. The AI6 is being engineered to be that brain a compact, efficient powerhouse capable of delivering supercomputer level performance inside a robotic chassis. And third, and perhaps most critically, is Tesla's own AI training infrastructure, including its revolutionary Dojo supercomputer. While the AI6 in cars and robots is for inference making decisions, the chips in Dojo are for training, learning from data. By designing and controlling the custom silicon inside its own data centers, Tesla can train its AI models faster, more efficiently, and far more cost-effectively than its rivals who must buy their hardware from third parties. This deal ensures a pipeline of custom hardware that will accelerate Tesla's learning loop, making its AI smarter, faster. This $16.5 billion deal is, in essence, a declaration of technological independence. For years, the world of high-performance computing has been dominated by a handful of semiconductor giants, most notably NVIDIA. 
Their powerful GPUs became the default hardware for the AI revolution, and they have reaped legendary profits as a result. But relying on an outside supplier, even one as brilliant as NVIDIA, comes with inherent limitations. You are bound by their product roadmap, you are subject to their supply chain availability, and you are at the mercy of their pricing power. Tesla is now executing a move straight out of the Apple playbook, but on an even grander scale. When Apple famously ditched Intel processors in favor of its own M-series silicon, it unlocked a new echelon of performance and efficiency. Why? Because it could perfectly co-design the hardware and the software to work in perfect harmony. Tesla is now applying that same principle to a far more complex ecosystem of cars, robots, and supercomputers. This isn't just about sourcing a better component. It's about achieving a holistic mastery over its entire technological destiny. It is vertical integration on an almost unprecedented scale. This is where the personal commitment of Elon Musk elevates this deal from a standard corporate partnership into a dedicated mission. Musk has publicly stated that he will personally walk the line at the Samsung factory in Texas. His stated goal, in his own words, is to accelerate the pace of progress and assist in maximizing manufacturing efficiency. This is not typical CEO rhetoric. This is a signal that the success of this project is mission critical to the future of Tesla. It's a hands-on, deeply involved approach that seeks to fuse Tesla's famously aggressive, move fast and break things, innovation culture with Samsung's decades of disciplined, world-class manufacturing expertise. Musk isn't just buying chips, he is actively co-creating the entire production process, and he's putting his own formidable reputation on the line to ensure it succeeds at the speed of Tesla. While this is a strategic masterstroke for Tesla, it is arguably an even more profound, company-altering win for Samsung. The South Korean conglomerate has staked its future on its new foundry in Taylor, Texas, a multi-billion dollar gamble to bring the world's most advanced chip manufacturing back to American soil. A fabrication plant, or fab, of this scale and expense is a breathtaking financial risk. It needs a massive, stable, and cutting-edge customer to make it viable. It needs an anchor tenant. For a time, there were whispers and concerns within the industry about whether Samsung could secure such a client for its American venture. With this deal, Tesla becomes that essential, validating anchor. It breathes life, purpose, and a guaranteed revenue stream into the Texas plant for the next decade. More importantly, it is a monumental victory in Samsung's long-running foundry war against its arch rival, Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company, or TSMC. For years, TSMC has been the undisputed king of contract chip making, the trusted manufacturer for giants like Apple, Nvidia, and AMD. Samsung has been the perennial powerful challenger, securing a $16.5 billion deal to produce one of the world's most advanced and high-profile AI chips is a resounding statement. It signals to the entire technology industry that Samsung's manufacturing processes are at the absolute cutting edge, re-energizing its foundry business and positioning it as a true, top-tier alternative to TSMC for the most demanding jobs on the planet. This entire narrative is playing out against a backdrop of intense global geopolitics. The world's overwhelming reliance on Taiwan for high-end chips has been identified as a major economic and national security vulnerability. The U.S. government's response was the Chips and Science Act, a landmark piece of legislation designed to pour billions of dollars into incentivizing companies like Samsung to build advanced semiconductor facilities on American soil. This deal is the Chips Act in action. It's a perfect confluence of corporate strategy and national interest creating a resilient domestic supply chain for the most critical technology of the future. So, what does this all mean for us? It means the hardware foundation for what was once science fiction is being laid, right now in Texas. It means that truly autonomous vehicles and functional humanoid robots are no longer a question of if, but when. This deal is building the engine that will power that revolution but it also establishes a new blueprint for what it means to be a dominant AI company. It makes the bold claim that simply designing brilliant software is no longer enough. To truly lead, 
you must control the silicon your software runs on. And perhaps the most tantalizing detail of all came from Musk himself, who casually suggested that the $16.5 billion figure is merely the bare number, and that the true value and output of this partnership could be several times higher. This isn't the final chapter. It's the explosive first page. What we are witnessing is more than just a supply chain agreement.